I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today, we're starting a new four-week series here on The Word Before Work called J.R.R. Tolkien, C.S. Lewis, and Work That Lasts Forever. Let's read Ecclesiastes 2, 17 through 18 together. Here's what it says. So I hated life because the work that is done under the sun was grievous to me. All of it is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. I hated all the things I had toiled for under the sun because I must leave them to the one who comes after me. J.R.R. Tolkien had a serious thing for trees. So when a neighbor cut down one of his favorite trees in 1943... Tolkien was furious, but his anger was about much more than the loss of the towering evergreen. Tolkien saw the lopped and mutilated tree as a metaphorical preview for what he feared for his own internal tree, his life's work, the Lord of the Rings. By this time, Tolkien had spent more than a decade toiling away at his magnum opus, But he was still a long way from completing the project. World War II was in full swing in Tolkien's home of Great Britain. And while the 51-year-old was at no risk of being drafted into service, his experience as an officer in the First World War led him to the sober realization that even as a citizen, his life and his life's work might soon suffer the same fate as his neighbor's tree. As his biographer explained, Tolkien was fearful that in the end, he would have achieved nothing, which was, of course, a dreadful and numbing thought for the great writer. After sharing those fears with Christian friends such as C.S. Lewis, Tolkien was inspired to sit down and write a short story, an autobiographical parable that he titled Leaf by Neagle. Neagle was a painter, an artist, just like Tolkien himself, who had a massive vision for the work he would accomplish in his lifetime. One day, Neagle caught a vision for a painting of a leaf. But over time, that vision expanded to a painting of an entire tree. And then beyond that tree, a beautiful countryside with forests and all of these snow-capped mountains. And for years, Neagle worked diligently on his painting, but he never felt like he was accomplishing very much. And one night, Neagle came down with a fever. He got sick. Knowing that the end of his life was near, he worked frantically to finish his magnum opus, to finish this masterpiece, but it was too little too late. As death closed in, Neagle burst into tears, realizing that his life's work would die with him. It would go unfinished. After Neagle's death, uh, his neighbors come in and they're searching through Neagle's home. Uh, And they discover this enormous canvas that Neagle had erected for his big painting, for his big project. But after years of work, they discover Neagle had only finished one beautiful leaf. So the neighbors took the small painting, they framed it, and they placed it in a local museum. And for a long while, leaf by Neagle hung right there in the museum and was noticed for a few years by a few people. But eventually the museum was burnt down and the leaf and Neagle were entirely forgotten in his old country. Pretty depressing start to this story, right? Here's the thing. You, me, J.R.R. Tolkien, we are all Neagle. We all envision more for our work than we'll ever be able to accomplish in a lifetime. And we fear that the little we do accomplish will burn up in the end, just like Neagle's painting. This is what led Solomon to say that all of his work was meaningless, a chasing after the wind, see Ecclesiastes. Here's the deal. If this life is all there is, then Solomon was right. Our work is is in vain. But you and I know something Solomon couldn't. That through Jesus Christ, death has been defeated, ensuring that this life is not all there is. Death is not the end of our stories, 
or the stories of our work. J.R.R. Tolkien knew that, which is why his story of Nigel doesn't end where we left off today. How does Nigel's story end? You have to come back next week for the next entry in this devotional to find out. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's Word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at TWBWFoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. Sign up right now, again, totally free at TWBWFoundations.com.